Hey guys, it's your girl Leah here back again with another video for you guys. So as you guys can see by the title, you already know what I'm about to be doing, honey. Yes, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I made this beautiful birthday flyer for Diamond Flawless. While everything on the flyer is fake, which means her age, the date of birth, address, and all of that. So we're just going to put random stuff. But yeah, it's just to show you guys an example of what it looks like. And if you guys would like to do your own birthday flyer like that, then honey, this video is for you. Okay, so we're going to hop right into it. So I'm going to show you guys everything. This is the flyer right here. I love it. It's so beautiful. It's so cute. So this is what we're about to do today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go on safari and we're going to search for rose gold background right well let's put rose gold metallic background and you're gonna find this one there's other different kinds well this is not the exact one that i used so i'm not finding the exact one that i used but it's one just like this so as you guys can see this is the one that i found on safari and this is the one that i originally used which is this one right here it's basically almost the same so once you have your rose gold background we're gonna also search for pink heart balloon as you guys can see above here it says transparent you guys could put png at the back so that it could go directly to it and you're gonna scroll down there's different types of heart there's different types of heart balloon so this is the one that i use so you guys can save that and also you're going to search for the gold one as well so you just have to change the word pink and you're gonna type gold instead and there you're going to scroll until you find a similar gold heart balloon just like this one until you find a gold heart balloon like this one which resembles the pink one once you have those two balloons we're also going to search for rose gold balloons as well i think i found it in here rose gold balloons png rose gold heart heart balloons images and we're going to scroll until we find the one that we're looking for so the rose gold i think we found it on pix art so we're going to head to pix art you're gonna click on the plus sign and you're gonna click on that background that you just saved so i'm going to look for mines which is this one then you're gonna click on tools crop and you're gonna click on three by four right apply open this up and then what you're going to do next is you're going to leave it just like this we're gonna leave it like this so i'm going to erase the backgrounds first from her pictures remove background and this will be the one that will be in the center so it's gonna remove the background great continue and then click on the check click on the picture shadow you could turn up the shadow opacity to like 50 great then you're going to click on share and save it once it's saved you're going to replace it and you're going to put another picture of her or of yourself where you're doing the birthday flyer for great save and then i'm going to do it for the last photo as well which is this one great and we're going to save it so once the three photos are saved, what we're going to do is add photo and we're going to add these two to the side. So I'm going to open this one up like this, blend, and I think I used overlay. But did I do it here? So I'm just going to delete this picture and I'm going to save the background just how it is. And we're going to come out and we're going to go to superimpose X. Oh, so this is the background that I use, but it's basically almost the same thing. So yeah, this is the original piece that I did here. But we're not going to use that we're going to use the background that i have which is this then we're going to click on the plus sign photos click on photos and we're going to add pictures of her so we're going to add this one first yes fix it and then we're going to click on transform and when you click on transform that's when you're going to transform and like fix it where you want it to be so i'm going to put this one like right here like this great and i'm also going to click on blend and i'm going to put it as overlay great and then i'm going to do the same for the next so we're going to click on the plus sign photo and we're going to add this picture to the other side transform it and open it up like this then we're going to click on blend and we're going to do overlay as well did i do overlay or screen i think i did screen so we're going to leave it a screen and then for the next picture as well we're going to put it a screen as well just turn down the opacity because it's a little too high i think to like 80 okay so we're going to change back you click on layer blend and we're going to put it back to overlay and we're going to do the same for the next overlay great once it's there we're going to leave it like that then we're going to add 
one more photo which is this one the one that will be in the middle great then we're going to click on transform and we're going to place it like right here in the middle here like this once it's like this you're going to click on mask mask tool and you're going to click on next to the oval um circle you're going to click on that like faded square box the first one great and then you're just gonna move your finger on the screen just to like get the face so you're gonna turn it how you want to so that her body her bottom part of her body can like blend in like this then we're gonna bring that down a little bit great like this is good to me great so we're gonna leave it like this once it's like that we're just gonna save it because that's all we need from here make sure when you add the fade to click on that check mark then you save it or else it will not save great so once that is done we're gonna come back onto pix art we're gonna delete this and we're gonna add the background cancel this don't save Okay, we're gonna add this background right here and now what we're going to add is we're going to go on to sticker and we're gonna search for rose gold glitter or if we're not finding it like this we're just gonna take off the rose gold and we're gonna search for glitter great and once you type glitter you're gonna find like this rose gold glitter right here you're going to turn it around and then you're going to open it to how you want to and i'm gonna bring it down like this let's see if we're going in the right direction yes that's it we just have to bring it down just a little bit more like this great so we're gonna leave it like this apply it so that it doesn't move once that is done the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to add the balloons so how did i add the balloons let's see if i find the rose gold balloon so we're gonna go into stickers heart balloon let's go into my recent see if i add it somewhere in here okay it's nowhere to be found here so these are the balloons that i'm looking for this pink rose gold so we're gonna add the dark pink and also the gold for now so what did i do is i added you guys are gonna also erase the background for the hard balloon so once that's done you guys could do that at the same time while you're erasing the background for your picture so i'm going to go into favorites because that's where i saved them and i already have the background erased so i'm going to tilt this one like this and i'm going to place her like here right like right here or i could bring her down a bit like this great and what i'm going to do is click on the eraser button above and i'm just going to erase everything until it looks like it's behind her so that's what we want to get great and then we're going to restore just this little piece that's stuck in out right here great so as you guys can see that heart looks like it's behind her so we're gonna do the same we're gonna add back another pink balloon to the other side and we're gonna tilt it the other direction we're gonna place this one above here a little higher click on the eraser button and erase everything until it looks like it's behind her And then you just okay erase a little bit more like here great and then restore great i think a little bit more up here great i think that'll do it great so once we added the two first balloons you're going to apply that great then we're going to don't click on apply as yet then you're going to add the gold one so we're going to add the gold balloons now this one we're going to bring it down like here I should have started with a ghoul because as you guys can see on this picture the ghoul is behind the pink but it's okay it doesn't matter erase and we're just gonna erase everything here like this great great and we're gonna add the other one we're gonna tilt this one to this direction here like this and we're gonna erase we're basically repeating the same process great so once that is done we're gonna leave this like that and then let's see what we have to do next the balloons i really want to add those rose gold balloons so i'm going to search for it again on safari rose gold balloon png images 
heart uh, i forgot to put heart in front heart rose gold balloon png so hey guys we're back to finish off this video sorry i had to cut the video because i was actually looking for the last rose gold heart balloon but i couldn't find it but i found something i did find something similar so we're gonna use that instead okay so what we're going to do is we're gonna head back to pics art and i added back the picture so the next thing that we'll be adding is the other heart that i found to use okay so i actually went on to stickers and i typed in heart balloon and i found this one which is almost similar so we're gonna use this one instead we're just gonna like place it somewhere here like this then we're going to duplicate it and we're gonna tilt it to the other direction and place this one like right here like this great so we're just gonna use these three balloons sorry for not finding the other one but yeah i found these two they're pretty much the same they're cute as well so yeah we're gonna use that then i also went on to safari to search for the 18th birthday balloon in rose gold so i also got that so you guys go and search that up so this is it right here i also removed the background from this as well so we're gonna open it up to the size you would like it to be so i'm not gonna open it up too big i'm just gonna leave it like this bring it across a little bit and then we're going to type th the font that i'll be using is called analog script clean personal so that's the one that i'll be using color i'm going to put it in rose gold as well i'm going to use a rose gold background and then i'm going to add shadow to it i'm going to turn up the opacity and turn down the blur the color i'm going to put it in white and then i'm going to tilt it up a bit like this bring it down like this size and then i'm going to place this right next to it so i'm going to bring the 18 across a little bit more a little smaller great put the tint okay up like this and then i'm going to bring it down to be behind it like this so yeah we're gonna leave it like this great so once we have that and that's done the next thing we're going to do right now is we're going to as you guys see at the bottom here it says shape we're going to add shape and we're going to add circle open it up like this bring it all the way down to like this onto here the color we're going to click on color texture and we're going to put this in rose gold then we're going to add another circle okay we're going to duplicate this one because we want it to be like the same size duplicate bring this one down a little bit more past and we're going to put this color in white great and we're going to leave it like that the next thing we're going to do is add one more shape which will be um like a rectangle we're going to close up the rectangle a little bit and we're going to open it up close up a bit tilt it to the side a bit like this in order for it to reach cross like this close it in a little bit more and we're going to put this color in white we're going to duplicate it and the other one we're going to put it in rose gold no shadow the other shadow color texture we're going to put it in rose gold good so we're going to try to put it in the middle like this close it in a little bit because we want the white line to show a little bit like this great and then what we're going to do next is we're going to type diamond in capital letters and we're going to put like apostrophe s so it's going to be like diamonds 18th birthday so the font that i'll be using is a regular font which is called franklin gothic the color will be in white and then we're also going to bring it down was that the font or impact lt yes the font is impact lt we're going to bring it up here make it a little smaller like this great and we're going to click on blend we don't want it to be as bright as the white great you're going to click on soft light because we don't want it to be too bright great so we're going to leave it like that then we're going to type birthday and the font that we'll be using for this one is called franklin gothic we're going to put it in white and we're going to add shadow to this because we want it to outstand a little bit position it a little close we're going to bring it down here into the line and we're going to try to like level it out so that it could match the line something like this i think i put it in rose gold as well let's just make sure okay i did put it into like a color like it so what i did was i clicked on color and i clicked on the little pencil thing to like change the color and then we're going to add 
stroke is going to be in white turn up the stroke a bit great so it should look something like this so we're getting there let's see what else we're missing so we have to add party the date dress code okay so also what i noticed i added as you guys can see here you guys can't see much but there's one or two like butterflies so as you guys see one is here and one is here so what i actually did was i went on to stickers and i searched for pink butterflies let's see which one i used it was like multiple butterflies together i don't know how come i don't find the exact same thing when i'm looking for it i'm just going to place this around so i'm going to place this one like right here open it up this one has like only two then i'm going to click on blend and we're going to use soft light for that as well or overlay overlay is much better we're going to put this one here then we're going to duplicate it and what we're going to do is we're going to flip it to the other direction and we're going to place this one here great and we're just going to leave it like that so we're going to leave them like that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add party so we're going to click on text and we're going to type party the font that i'll be using is called southern air and i also put it in rose gold as well so all these fonts i will be listing them down below in the description box so that you guys could go and download them not all of them is to be downloaded so the ones that i'll be listing is going to be downloaded and the other ones are going to be from pixar directly great we're going to make it small and we're going to bring it down here so it's going to look like this diamonds 18th birthday party so once we've added that we're now going to add the date which will be january 1st and we're going to use a regular font so let's see which font we'll be using which font is that, that i just clicked on okay so this font is kind of complicated i don't know now how to spell it because the letters are weird bebak bona i don't even know how to spell it but yeah just use a regular simple capital letter um font so that's the font that i'll be using and i put it in pink to match with the balloons so i'm also going to add like a bar between i'm going to bring this down here like this and then i'm also going to duplicate it change the text and i'm going to put the time 8 p.m to 1 a.m we're going to change the color to yellow it's like a mustard yellow to like match with the gold so you guys could use like the stick to click on the to place it on the heart so that you could get the color the exact color great so party we're going to bring it up a little bit once that is done the next thing we'll be adding is the dress code and also the address so i'm just going to apply everything here so that everything could be in place and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click on text and i'm just going to write your address because that's where you're going to be putting your address comma street name well street city code postal make it very small because that's just going to be at the bottom that's not really important i mean it is important because you need to know the location but yeah that's the least right now um we're going to use a simple font so we're going to use Sacker's Gothic S STD <laughs> Light. We're going to be using that one. Open it up a little more. Great. And for the dress code, we're going to put pink and gold dress code. Make it smaller. Open it up. Great. Bring it down. And the font we'll be using for this one is called Banya, I think. It's B-U-N-Y-A. So let's look for it. Great. So I think I added all the information that is needed to be added. The next thing I'm going to add now is a little bit of glitter dust and also the butterflies. So we're going to click on apply and then we're going to scroll until we find brushes. And we're then we're going to scroll until we find the pinkish bluish glitter sprinkles. So we're just going to touch around the white part of where the texts are at to like bring it up because only there that needs a little sparkling great once you've done that you're gonna apply it then we're gonna go back into sticker and pink butterflies yes we're gonna click on pink butterfly and this is one of the pink butterflies that i use i'm gonna make it smaller i'm gonna place one right here then i'm going to duplicate it and place a small one right here great where else did i add okay i have one more there i'm going to duplicate it again tilt it the other direction and place one like right here great now i'm going to add yellow butterflies so we're going to change the pink and we're going to look for yellow i could have used this yellow one 
to like match with the pink one but i love the other yellow one so we're gonna scroll until we find that yellow butterfly that i used so instead of butterflies we're gonna put butterfly you see like there's a difference when you put like butterflies and butterfly because butterflies they'll give you more butterflies and butterfly they'll give you just the single one so this is the one that i use i'm going to make it small as you guys can see it's very vibrant it's bright we're going to place this one like right here duplicate it and we're going to tilt it out of right direction make it small and we're going to bring this one here like this and then we're going to add one more okay we're going to bring this one down duplicate it small and we're going to place this one right here great honey so yeah i think that's basically it on everything that i added onto this flyer to make this flyer just the balloons were a little different but it actually came out like the same thing so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment share and subscribe turn on that notification bell so that you guys can know whenever i post a new video okay and let me know what other types of videos you guys would like to see from your girl leah okay thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video